So what comes after this, and then this? That's the question that's going to be answered tomorrow when Nintendo reveals the Nintendo NX, which almost has been non-existent to anybody. Like, it's an ongoing joke at this point that the NX doesn't even exist. But, holy crap. We're getting like 12 hours of time before the NX drops, like this huge technology that's going to change our world whether you believe it or not in the smallest ways and, the, and, the, and in the largest ways. The NX is going to change the future, alright? Every game console does. If you buy one, you've changed the future, alright? People are going to be interested in, in this, no matter what it is, no matter if people like the concept of it or not, but the truth is the NX has to be good. The NX has to hit a lot of different bullet points for Nintendo to keep them uh, brownie points going or else their fans are going to not be as interested as they have been in the past. That's what I think anyways, and I could be wrong, but I think uh, being a Nintendo fan myself, Nintendo really has to strike all the right notes and they really have to also capture the new audience too that's really on the PS4 and the Xbox One and the next generation that really can't see the reason uh, to go and get a Wii U because there's no real games on it and some people you know surprisingly haven't even really experienced Mario as we've experienced it as like you know 90s generation 80s generation maybe even early 2000s I'd say the new people uh, can't really appreciate there's a generation of kids now that don't appreciate Mario like we do all right and I think that's also working it's Nintendo excuse me with all these flies they are annoying it's that time of year dude I guess where they just sort of like, hey, can we come in and hang out with you? That'd be cool. Sleepover. I don't like it. <clears throat> so there's been lots of rumors floating around about the NX. I've covered a couple myself. And we're not talking about the rumors. We're going to be talking about the possible features that the NX could have. Now, this is might get super outlandish, but you know, I listen to Game Explain, and they can get pretty outlandish too. So... Nothing's off the table, and it's always fun to talk about this kind of stuff. And I would encourage you guys to talk about what you think the NX is going to be if you're um, here on this video this late at night. I know it's late, but I'm also going to be doing a reveal, uh, like a reaction type thing about the NX tomorrow, so hopefully that goes okay. Anyways, the rumors are the NX is going to be a, a console and a mobile hybrid. Logically, I don't see it being anything else, right? You know, with where technology is out right now, what's been made and what hasn't. You know, virtual reality, there's virtual reality still that Nintendo could tap into, but I highly doubt that that would benefit them in too many ways at this point in time. So, mobile hybrid, that's pretty much what's going to be splatted on the table tomorrow morning, right? Come on, let's be, let's be honest here. So, let's talk about individually, the console and the mobile, what we think each should have. Well, I'm going to talk about what I think they should have or what they will have. So the console, I've come up with this, con this concept of a hub system or maybe a traditional like box type thing in a way like a Wii U. I imagine there being a hub or possibly different types of hubs. Maybe Nintendo could go expansive with this generation of consoles and make different like accessories. I envisioned a hub with a like mobile like 3DS, almost like a 3DS without the two screens. I don't think it's gonna have two screens, it better only have one that wirelessly can connect up to the uh, hub. And the hub, I believe, should have, you know, some USB ports, a micro, or an SD card reader. And I think it would be really cool that the hub had its own processing unit built into it so that when you got home, your graphics on your games upscaled. Now I'm gonna talk more about my idea on what Nintendo could be doing with proprietary scale, graphic scaling software, which could be a completely outlandish or true. You never know with technology these days. But hub system, let's go back to it. I imagine it, there could be a cartridge reader, there could be other hub expansions that could allow for Wii U backwards support, like a disc reader hub, um, a disc reader hub where it has a little NX cartridge uh, slot and then a disc slot for the um, Wii U discs plus the actual Wii U hardware built into the hub without the, any excess, um, you know, Wii U components or casing or anything like that, just like the processing unit and just the minimum required to run a Wii U game. You know, I, that could get expensive though, so uh, that's kind of far out. But if they maybe had such a 
powerful graphics processor or just CPU and graphics processor or just specs in general that could possibly emulate the Wii U or it could be maybe the same uh, line of processor as the Wii U so that it had very it could easily you know translate back to the Wii U um, and that could hook up as soon as you brought your mobile NX home all right so let's talk about the actual NX mobile variant itself I think this is basically what's going to come in the base package of the Wii U. I, I've heard that there could be two different uh, bundles, what, you know, like a $299 bundle that would have the mobile Wii U and then the console or hub system, if it has a hub system, good. Uh, and then maybe the basic, you know, 3DS or <laughs> 3DS, you know, just, just the simple mobile variant of the NX. So let's talk about the uh, mobile version of the NX. Now that's mostly where I believe all the hype is going to be put onto and where all the functionality is going to come from. Although they could go just as crazy with the, the console variant, they could have an entire piece of hardware for the console for the 3DS to connect to up to the TV. All right, so the mobile, let's talk specs on the mobile. Hopefully it's got a 720p display. It doesn't need a 1080p display. It doesn't need to push any more graphics out there than it really needs to, all right? Hopefully it has a 720p IPS multi-touch display that looks good, all right? Hopefully it has a full controller set of buttons with two analog sticks, triggers, and all, and it's comfy, but I do hope it's slick and thin. You know, maybe they even went with a folding system. You know, I hear it's going to be a, maybe a six inch screen. Complete rumors, by the way, but I do believe it could have a fairly sizable screen. I mean, the 3DS screen's fairly big itself, too. So maybe one of their bullets in their chamber is a folding up mobile display. Uh, you know, uh, you know, bending displays is becoming more prominent, but I, you know, knowing Nintendo, I don't think they would go into bendable displays quite yet but I could be wrong. Um, spec wise, I hope it has an NVIDIA Tegra X1 in it. I've heard rumors that it's gonna be an AMD. Now, I'm not big on AMD because, uh, I don't know, they're all right, I guess, but they're not as efficient as they could be. Now, the NVIDIA Tegra X1, I followed the whole Tegra line since the Tegra 3, the Tegra 3, the Tegra 4, the Tegra K1, the Tegra X1, the, the NVIDIA Denver dual core uh, custom built pro like processor they built for mobile. It's all incredible technology for what it is and the amount of power consumption, minimal power consumption it is. It's absolutely incredible technology. And to see that going to a Nintendo console and actually be fully utilized would be outstanding. Now, I don't know how far Nintendo's gonna go. It's gotta be a substantial upgrade from the 3DS, you know what I mean, uh, power-wise. Hopefully it's got a decent amount of RAM. Just, just at the end of the day, hopefully the games look good. Am I right, am I right? Doesn't have to have amazing, incredible specs, although it would be nice for the modding scene later on, wink, wink. Hopefully it only has one screen. I imagine it will. I don't imagine a dual screen setup would be at all beneficial for anybody. Processing power would be beneficial. Um, you know, if there's a console variant, it would be beneficial. It really would have no benefit other than possibly backwards compatibility with the 3DS and the new 3DS. And let's be, let's be honest here, the, the 3DS is cheap enough that you could just keep that in its own department, all right? Well, the online infrastructure of the NX better be sharp and it better be modern. No friend codes, which I, let's be honest, friend codes are done. They did it with the Wii U, they fixed it, all right? Hopefully it's gonna have a sleek, beautiful UI. I do think Nintendo can pull that off. They've done great UI so far. Voice chat or an integrated messaging system would be great. Uh, although Nintendo is very anal about that kind of stuff, hopefully, with their new management and stuff, they could get over that hump. Who knows, that'll be a complete surprise and that will show us kind of the direction of the new president um, and where he's going with Nintendo. Third party support, of course, make sure it's in there. We all want good games and we want a lot of games. Now I wanna talk about a proprietary idea that it would be crazy if Nintendo announced this as part of the NX tomorrow and it's a proprietary graphic scaling software built right into the NX so that you could have potentially the processing power from the hub when you get home your mobile NX would connect up to the hub at home and they could possibly like 
work together, both processors and both specs, to ultimately make the better um, looking game or, you know, the better mechanics. Or simply, you know, the uh, NX could just use the hub's processing power, which is more likely, and maybe there could be a proprietary graphics scaling software that the, the game developers would make their games for the hub and make it so that the games look incredible and, and however good they wanted to make them and then when they down, they could downscale it using maybe a separate processor on the mobile N or the mobile NX that could on the fly downgrade all the graphics that call upon Nintendo's GPU library and change the effects up, change the resolution of the effects, change the number of particles um, for the for the mobile version, they could downscale the resolution to 720 or even lower, 480, and upscale to 720 for the display. Um, there could just be this proprietary graphic scaling application that kind of takes the commands that the game the game developers code into their game, and it kind of will intercept them and change them to downscale them to run that full console game on the mobile system. How incredible would that be? And how minimal would it be for developers to not have to actually create two variants of the game? That would attract developers for third-party support, which I know Nintendo is wanting to score that. So minimal effort, because if, if game developers have to make two variants of their games, they're not going to be happy because that's not budget friendly if they have to make a downscaled version. Although they do kind of do that with the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. The thing is, is that they have a large install base, so it's kind of worth it. Um, for the NX, it's, ooh. You know, if just anything Nintendo could do to get to garner that support would be beneficial to them. Now, more likely, what they're going to do is they're going to make it so developers do have to code two different versions of the game, which, you know, that makes me just feel bad for the developers and it ultimately for us because that means that less developers are going to want to come over here and put in work unless the NX is a runaway success which it won't be a runaway success without the third party support or has a much lower chance of doing so. So you guys, three minutes, we're gonna, it's gonna go wild tomorrow. I imagine the trailer is just gonna show off like the NX. It's gonna, it's gonna show this cool 3D like look at the NX and it's gonna have like little kids like walking around playing it or something. And then they're gonna go to their buddy's house and they're gonna be like, yeah, what's up dude? Let's play some NX. And oh yeah, that's another thing I was gonna talk about. How cool would it be if your friend had an NX? What, well, your friend Jimmy, he has an NX, right? He's got the, you go to his house, he's got the hub set up, all right? He's got his mobile, thing is mobile version you've got your mobile version how cool would it be to both connect up to the hub and both use your mobile as a controller and have you know certain games that can actually benefit having multiple game pads just like the Wii U imagine the Wii U with f three or four game pads instead of just one and that it's displaying different stuff for all of them that would be radical dude that would be absolutely radical and imagine if Nintendo utilized the hub processing power plus the mobile processing power and it could use the mobile and the hub processing power plus your processing power. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's too wild. That ain't happening. But imagine that if it does, if the hub does use the processing power and your buddy and it does use the mobile and the hub at the same time. The cool thing is, if you brought yours over, yours has a processor in it already, so that system could all work, you know. Um, you could have your own processing power on yours. I don't know, there's, there, it's just absolutely crazy. Nintendo really is confident about the NX release. They're confident that it's gonna be a runaway success and it's gonna change the gaming um, field. And I truly hope it does. Because Nintendo, man, I love you, and it's nostalgia. I'll be brutally honest with you, it's absolutely nostalgia, all right? Grown up as a kid, I had the curse of grown up as the underdog game company that is an underdog now, but wasn't at the time, I guess. I'm holding on, alright? And it's just be good, please. I love you, I love you, bro. Alright? Anyways, guys, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of TC Pixel Talks. And I will catch all of you guys tomorrow morning for the NX release. Sleep good. Peace out.